Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for stopping by today. I want to look at the fall ginseng plant today and I'm back up here on top of the hill where I did the spring ginseng plant and I want to show you what the plant looks like in the fall. Now right now they're still green but they'll turn kind of a gold color in just a couple more weeks but right now they're really easy to spot because of their berry pod. Uh, the berry pods are really bright red so let's take a look at it. So this is the ginseng plant, and this is a little baby coming up right beside it. This is probably a yearling, and this plant is probably five to seven years old. And you can see some of the berries already falling off of it. Now, by law, I have to put these berries back in. Uh, a lot of people don't, but it's a pretty good safe practice if you go ahead and put these berries back uh, where they belong. Uh, that way you got plants year to year to year. Now. Normally I'll leave a couple of these plants like this, um, that way they can propagate, have more later. And I've probably got maybe 10 that I've left behind this year. So let's look at that root really quick. Now, generally I usually carry this right here because a lot of this, this stuff is found in a rocky outcrop. And before I dig this up, I'll kind of pan around and let you see just exactly where I found this. Now I'm not far from a hickory tree. There's a couple of hickory trees up in the woods there. But you can see this rock outcrop. Now, you know, I will be looking above it and below it and around this area here. For more plants because usually when you find one like that you'll find a little patch of them and there'll be several now I use an old bayonet this is just an old junky bayonet that I got uh, a few years ago and I think there were three for ten bucks and so don't start griping and carrying on about uh, not using this to dig and all that stuff because I've used this thing it's what I bought it for was to dig with so we're gonna come in and I'm gonna gently start pulling some of the dirt away I'm gonna give this a really wide berth in here and this is growing right on top of a rock it looks like Looks like it may be growing back in that rock a little bit. Hey, right on top of this rock, and there must be a, uh, a split in this rock. Because this plant is pretty much buried right in this rock. This is the root, not a very good one. Not a very good root, kind of small. This is the plant. Now, obviously I can't put this by these berries back on top of a rock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find an area around here close and I'm gonna cast these berries off. I'm just gonna peel these off. I'll put this other berry over here and we're just going to scatter these berries around this area. 
sorry, this is the fall plant. It's known as a three prong. As you can see, it's got three leaflets coming out of it. And uh, I'm sure this one's kind of a dwarfed, you know, because it was growing on that rock. But you can see it's probably pretty old. Pretty old little root. Well, guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. If you really want to know more about ginseng hunting, you can go check out uh, the Pathfinder TV episode that I did over on uh, Pathfinder TV. That'll go into a lot more detail on how to find it and what you're looking for and a lot more of the terrain and things that you're kind of wanting to find. So, guys, this is Darren with East Woodland Survival. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the woods. <laughs>